Hey everybody, welcome back to Beauty Learning with Laura. Um, today I'm going to talk about my... Oh god, my hair is a mess. Anyways, 2013 favorites and yuckies. It's the only way I can think of to say it. Oh god, it looks like I got a horn. Oh my goodness. Anyways, get comfy here. Um, right now I'm at my in-laws for the holidays. And it is the day after Christmas, and I just thought I better get this done. So let's do it. For my hair, I have been loving this one and only um, argan oil spray. Um, I love it. I use it every day after I take a shower. It makes my hair feel great. Oh, love it. Next has been my. CoverGirl Atlas Day Brilliant Nail Polish and Forever Festive. Just a beautiful color. I mean, look at that. I got that on my nails right now. For the holidays, of course. Now, for my teeth, because I do smoke and I've been trying really hard to quit, which has been really, really, really hard. I don't care what anyone says about Mind Over Matter. <sighs> Anyways, I love this Luster Premium White Luster Net Instant Whitening Toothpaste. I use it every day, twice a day, sometimes three times a day. Next, I am loving all of my Real Technique face brushes. Oh, by Samantha Chapman, I think. I believe so. Yeah, Samantha Chapman. Use them every day to do my makeup. Loving. I really recommend you out, go out and get these. And another one that is actually kind of surprising to a lot of people are my elf brushes. I love using these. Even these two $1 ones that are the blending and the eyeshadow brush. Love them. And I love my stippling brushes. Use these all the time. I just don't... I mean, I don't like how this one is kind of so not put together like other stippling brushes but still does the job for three bucks you know okay I got so much to do it's all like right here uh oh I dropped some ah let's hurry and get these out of the way my favorite lip liners are from NYX and one from Ulta um this one is in Rustic which I'm wearing right now it's beautiful color right there. The other ones, these are from NYX and this one is the retractable lip liner in grapefruit. Grapefruit. Let me get closer. It might be a little bit, ew, that looks scary. A little bit better. This is in the grapefruit and it's by NYX. And this is in Mahogany by NYX, which it's kind of a brownish color, but I like it for a natural color, lightly on the lips. Looks pretty good. Okay. I'm still trying to figure this out as far as how to do this here. Because it's not easy. But it's easier than the hotel room. My favorite scent is actually by Reese Witherspoon, Love to the Fullest. It's by Avon. You get it from Avon. Love the packaging, and I love the smell. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Very pretty. Oh, it smells really nice. I haven't used it very much because, it, to me, it's expensive. Favorite kind of primers? Well, of course, I got some prime of my Urban Decay Prime Eye Primer in this little sample thing. But it's in, um, e, not Eden, Sin, I think. I think. I couldn't find the actual thing. It's somewhere in here in my, yeah. But I love using this. Use it all the time. My high-end primer that I only got a, it in a sample right now because it's packed away um, is the Cover FX Primer. I use this a lot. But when... I don't want to use that because I do got my big thing of primer in storage. Really. Oh 
know who that is. There we go. I don't know who that is, so I ain't answering. But, um, my direct store wonder when I really go to a lot is my Fix and Perfect Pro by Rimmel, Rimmel Primer. I use it a lot. It sparked the, you know, smooths, resurfaces, brightens, mattifies, and protects. It's a 5 in 1, basically. Loving that. Ugh. My favorite chapstick this year has been the Nivea Kiss of Shimmer Radiant Lip Care. It's the pink one. Beautiful color. Really like it. I mean, I don't know if you can see it, but, you know, you should be able to. It's right there. So, of course, probably only see the shimmer. And my favorite eye cream. Oh, my gosh. I got this as a sample, and I will be buying it as soon as I can. It's the Mario Badesco Glissolic Eye Cream. Oh, love this. I don't know if it's going to do 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 do. But it's a little sample I got from Ulta. My favorite face powder has been the Revlon Nearly Naked and Fair. Right there. Um, I don't know. It's pretty good. I mean, it's soft. It's creamy. You know, don't need a lot. Really loved that. I've loved it all year. And then my next one that I actually discovered accidentally because it's a dupe for the um, Tarte High Definition Powder, you know, the white powder. It's the Elf High Definition Powder. I do use this a lot. Um, I got it in the sheer. Uh, my Tarte one is put away and I've been trying to work through a lot of my drugstore stuff. So, you know, doing what my husband says then. My one lip product, uh, I got a couple of lip products actually that I've been loving. It's my Tarte um, Inspired Lipstick. Beautiful color. I got this in the Give Me Some More Lips set by Sephora. And I love it. I mean, I'm actually, I'm almost gone. But when you love something, you use it, right? I... Sh the, the okay <laughs> mascara I've been loving the benefits the real mascara this is just a um, deluxe sample size but I love the brush I love how it works because I can really get in there and get on my eyelashes and another scent I've been loving is by um, Bath and Body Works um, Japanese cherry blossom oh my god as you can see ah <sighs> Love, love, love. Lotions. Okay, I got two lotions that I use. And one um, got sent to me by my friend Nikia. And the other one I found just because I have... Oh my gosh, I do got a horn there. Ah! Kind of try and get that. There we go, that's better. I found just simply because um, my skin is so sensitive. It's the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. And it's just a regular soothing oatmeal one. This is actually my fourth bottle this year. Another one is from my friend Nakia. It's the Trader Joe's Coconut Body Butter. Oh my gosh, this stuff. This stuff is amazing. I recommend you get it either on the website, have someone send it who's by there, or go get it. Completely worth it. Oh. And a little bit does go a long ways, but oh my gosh. Oh, I love this stuff. I I recommend it to everyone. My bronzer that I've been loving is the Peachy Glow Bronzer Mineral Wear by Physician Formula. Ah, right there. Just very nice, kind of a, just a peachy glow. I mean, you know, you can't really see it, but it's really nice. I really like it. Um, favorite blush is the Pearlescent Pink by Wet n Wild. Very pigmented, let me tell ya. Oh, no, you can't really see it. I mean, it's right there. But you can kind of build it up. It's not like the Heather Silk where you dip one, put it on your cheek, and, <gasps> you know. 
Now, I got two eyeshadow palettes that I've been loving by Wet n Wild. One is the Cuff and Zone. We are all familiar with this. And the other one is the Knock on Wood. We're all familiar with these. So, I've been liking these. My foundation of the year, Tarte and Light Beige. This is the um, Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. I'm wearing it now. Um, the only one I can find it comparable to is the Revlon Color Stay. So, for both of them, they're kind of a dupe to each other. But I love it. Mascara again is my Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara, the blue one. Love this. I love how with the thing little thing. It got the really great, I love the wand, but it also, it moves, it bends. Perfect. And this is in black, I believe. Yeah, it's in, hmm. See if I can read this here. Very black. Love it. Another, um, freaking bleh, primer that I've discovered at the Professionals by Benefits. I really do like this, but I think my cover effects does a little bit better. But it is a good product. My concealer, gosh, I don't even have a concealer all over this. Ah! Is my Revlon Color Stay Concealer. This is light medium. And I use it every day. Every day. My liquid eyeliner of choice is the Stila liquid eyeliner. Day all day waterproof eyeliner. I love it. Just, I mean, look at that line. That line's gorgeous right there. Yeah. Use it all the time. Well, today I'm actually using Urban Decay. My favorite high end product palette of the year has been the Vice 2 palette. I love the colors, if I can get it open, it got this big on mirror, you know, this big on mirror, but I love the colors, I mean, look at those colors, they're gorgeous, you know, and I'm actually wearing it today, I'm wearing the, um, Damage, I believe, yeah, Damage, which is just, you know, a metallic -y green color, my least favorite pa palette of the year, I am going to get so much grief from the YouTube community, because, I really don't like it, but maybe because I haven't really played with it, but it is the Naked 3 palette. Now, I don't have one or two, and that's okay. You know, no one bashing me for it, you know, and I'm not bashing people for not having it. And I do like some of the colors, but I don't know, maybe I gotta play with it more, but I don't know, I'm, it's just not grabbing me like Device 2 palette is, because when... I think about putting on eyeshadow, I get excited about using the Vice 2 or my Wet n Wild, and I don't get excited about using this. But again, very, very beautiful colors, I mean, you know? They're all beautiful. But I just don't get excited like most people have. And to me, that's kind of weird, because when you get excited about an eyeshadow, or especially a $50 eyeshadow, you want to be excited, and I'm not really excited. So I'm either going to re-gift this, give it away, or just take it back. I'll probably end up taking it back and getting the naked one or two. I'm actually been eyeing the naked two. Hmm. But anyways, those are my yearly favorites. I hope you all like it. I hope maybe you guys have some of it. Maybe you guys have a suggestion on how to use this at least. Please give me a suggestion. And I'll talk at you all later. Bye.